there was no way these guys were going to get along. And uh, there was no way there wasn't a ton of conflict and humor and revelation to be mined from them needing to be in the same place. There is nothing more fun. Uh, figuring out the actual structure by which that can happen, that's just work. But figuring out what these guys might say to each other in a room, uh, that was as much fun as I've ever had. What have I to fear? The Avengers. That's what we call ourselves, sort of like a team. Earth's mightiest heroes type thing. Yes. I've met them. Seeing everybody in costume, seeing these amazing actors in costume, like, because it was the film was like a relay race, and quite often people weren't on set at the same time. And the first time I saw everybody, like Robert in the Iron Man suit, Jeremy was bow and arrow, um, Scarlett in her cat suit, Chris Evans in a big American flag, Chris Hemsworth the Thor in the hammer, and and Mark Ruffalo at the back in a pair of grey and white striped motion capture pajamas. <laughs> he was kind of the odd man out. Um, but it was cool, man. It was a, it was a cool day. It's very tough, you know, especially when you're in production, you got to keep track of the difference in their abilities because, it, you know, uh, it's very easy for you know, in the, while, while all this stuff is going on, for people to forget, oh, you know, they have very different levels of power, and you got to make sure that each gag works only for that particular hero. The specificity is is key. It burns you to have come so close. To have the tesseract, to have power, unlimited power, and for what? A warm light for all mankind to share. And then to be reminded what real power is. I think he, he, he needs um, power and he needs status. And the reason he wants to, to subjugate the earth and, and sort of have the human race bow and kneel before his feet is really because he's lacking in self-respect still. I mean, it's the engine of all of his, his megalomania and tyranny. Is, it still comes from a kind of psychologically desolate place uh, in his soul um, and uh, there's quite a funny line that Joss actually wrote for me when 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 Chris Hemsworth as Thor says you think yourself above them and Loki simply says well yes <laughs> it's quite fun to say that line it was difficult for me to sort of work that because he was so sympathetic and his arc was so interesting in, in Brana's piece in Thor and um, uh, but it I, I thought about it a lot and I talked to Drew Goddard who I did cabin with, and you know, his thing was he's come out the other end. And that allowed me to go, that's right, you know what, he's still got his pain, but now he thinks he's over it, and he's just gonna be as malevolent and have as much fun as Loki should ought to have. I mean, in this film, he's definitively the god of mischief. Mm -hmm. And so there's a sort of predilection for, and a disposition to enjoying manipulating people, enjoying playing them like a chess master. And you know, he sets them, he sets them off against each other. So I think, you know, he cares about them enough to play with them, but I don't think he has any compassion for them. I have an army. We have a Hulk. Oh, I thought the beast had wandered off. You're missing the point. There's no throne. There is no version of this where you come out on top. Maybe your army comes, and maybe it's too much for us, but it's all on you. Because if we can't protect the Earth, you can be damn well sure we'll avenge it.